Okay, everybody, it is me and you. Lovely, just how I like it. Let's talk here, people. So this is my post-market wrap-up on this Friday, October 1st, 2021. I was writing stuff down all day in my little notepad. I have a lot of things to cover with you here. So get comfortable, relax a little bit. Maybe I'll flip out a little. I'm not sure, probably not. But we'll see how this, this plays out. Again, none of this is scripted, ever. I, I sit down here and I just... I just talk. I keep it as real as I possibly can. One take, win, lose, or draw, and I am done. So anyway, people, look, before I get started, thank you. A huge, big, beautiful, you know, covered in puffs of loveliness, thank you. To those of you who choose to support my work the first of every month, I ask for your support, and a bunch of you did this month, more than usual, all right? Generally, not many people support my work. This is the show I ask you to do it. Very few do, but, but right now, more than usual. Uh, it tells me that I'm doing a good job, and I am trying for all of you. Um, again, we're going we're gonna to address more of that here, people. So a rally today on Wall Street, uh, a nice rally too. And the market, again... <laughs> It's not done at all, despite the fact that we got inflation surging at its fastest pace, actually in 30 years, uh, core inflation spiked at its highest pace in 30 years. And we're not done. Uh, they're going to try to downplay this, the mainstream media, but the fact of the matter is, this is all baked in already. Again, the Federal Reserve has no intention at all of slowing the pace of inflation down. As a matter of fact, we heard from Fed President Evans, who recently said he's concerned, he's concerned, are you ready? Sit down, that inflation is not high enough already. Look, once in a while, a little truth squeaks out of these things that, that run the Federal Reserve. The fact of the matter is, they want to inflate. They want to continue to inflate, and they're not going to stop. Taper, no taper, whatever it might be, inflation is going to get worse. They can't stop it. It's a phenomenon that we have seen throughout history. Once those floodgates are open, and they're open now, it's nearly impossible to stop. The Fed has been on a mission since the meltdown of 08, uh, to, to buy it all, to become the lender and, and buyer of last resort to fulfill their end game, uh, creating trillions and trillions and quadrillions of dollars out of thin air just to keep everything the way it is right now, funneling dollars around the world. And right now, these dollars are coming home. They're coming home here, and that's where we're starting to see inflation. They don't care. They don't care about it, even though Fed Chair Powell is now saying he's frustrated and he's admitting now that it's not transitory, stating that inflation is going to persist until at least 2022. Duh! Duh! Ugh. You see, I'm starting to flip out here already. You can't make this stuff up. It's, it's an incredible thing. As long as the market realizes this mechanism is going to stay in place, the, the bad economic news that does not stop because our economy is contracting as a percentage of GDP faster than it ever has in history. You're not supposed to know that big secret. Keep it quiet. I'm lying. I want you to get it out there. Tell everyone what's going on. But, but look, unless they're brain dead, which is essentially possible, okay, around through time and space. They don't know who they are, what they're doing, why they're doing it, da, da, you know, being told what they can and cannot do, answering to their slaves on their freaking knees, making sure they're wearing their freaking face diapers and, you know, losing any uh, self-respect, being fired from positions because they won't you know, I can't even say this stuff. I already got warned here. I got a warning from YouTube that if I do this, uh, they're going to ban me. Anyway, look, you got the picture here. This is about control. Uh, this is about a new set of rules, a new freaking dynamic, people. And you're in it. You're in the heart of it right now. But if you think this is it, 
You haven't seen anything yet. But with that aside, okay, understanding that that whole thing is a part of the freak show, the market, well, it's the ep epicenter of the freak show, okay, with, with the Federal Reserve here, buying assets, no end in sight, you know, surging inflation uh, at its highest pace ever, our contracting economy, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's an incredible thing, but this is where we are. And either you can do nothing, okay, you can sit back and just let them destroy you, or you can say, I'm going to weaponize the system against them. That's what we're doing. You understand that? I think you do. If you are a follower of my work, okay, what am I teaching you to do? What I'm teaching you to do is take this twisted system and turn the tables on it. Reverse it on them. Okay, they want you to be destitute, broke, and desperate. Okay, that's what they want. Okay, how? Why? So they can control you. All right, it's all about control, making people dependent on the system, on their system. You understand? Look, so that's why we're going to take their system, reverse those tables, and make it work. And we've been doing this for the longest freaking time. Speaking of that, Cryptocurrencies today on top of this market took off. Why today did cryptocurrencies take off? Well, it's being reported everywhere. So don't just take my word for it. Uh, Fed Chair Powell, quote, the United States has no intention to ban cryptocurrencies. Duh, again, I have told all of you that cryptos were not going anywhere here in the United States. And especially being that China Communist China uh, decided to ban cryptos or make it illegal to transact. We couldn't follow suit. We can't do it. They cannot do it. So there lies some of our strength people being outside the system. I am so sick and tired of hearing from people who have no idea what's going on with regard to the crypto space. Oh, it's going to zero. It's the, they've been wrong 100% of the time, not once. Not once ever since the inception have these people been correct. Now you can choose to listen to them and hopefully you're not one of them, okay? I've been telling you to buy this stuff since like Bitcoin 3000. It's like 48 freaking thousand people. <sighs> had you listened back then or even if you want to listen now, okay, this 48,000 is nothing. It's going much higher. I'm telling you, especially in light of this, uh, and we know Jay Powell is the biggest liar, criminal on the face of the earth, but I told, it, told you way before he came out with his little statement today. The Fed was not going to ban crypto. They're not going to do it. They can't do it, in my view. The space will continue. Some of these things, like Bitcoin, like Dash, there are others as well, are limited. There's a limited supply of these things, okay? And I happen to know, I happen to know for a fact that the investment banks and some hedge funds, a lot of hedge funds, are buying this stuff. You understand? So you do what you want with this information. If you want to sit on the sidelines and watch people get really rich, well, you know, that's your choice. Uh, on the other hand, if you're, if you're a lion like myself and you understand the space at all, you, you can see where there is value. All right. So again, look for the people to write here. Oh, Greg, you're wrong again. I'm going to laugh at every comment because they've never been right one time. I've been calling the crypto market so accurately. It's freaking scary. It's really the truth. Am I right 100% of the time? No. Am I right better than 90? Yeah, that's the truth. Check my record. Ask anyone who follows my works. The truth. Speaking of that, how about this? When the stock market was selling off the other day after Janet Yellen was out there with, with her cohort, Powell, and uh, explaining about crashes in the market, calamities, financial crisis, uh, the market sold off. But what did the MMRI say? The Manorino Market Risk Indicator. It went down. It went down. It was telling people, buy the dip. If you listen to it, okay, for you naysayers out here, I can't believe I have naysayers about this. This indicator literally just came out, and there's already people saying it doesn't work. The, ignore them, okay? There's something mentally wrong with these people, okay? They have no idea. It's way above their pay grade. They cannot understand it, and that's okay. They're mental midgets. Good. Let them stay that way because they're going to stay broke, living in their parents' basement from here until forever here. Maybe they'll end up on some kind of social program, uh, you know, whatever. 
don't listen to these people. The MMRI works. It's free. I don't ask for anything. It, it, um, right on my website, traderschoice.net, go check it out. It came down, it was saying, buy the dip. And, and if you listen to it, if you listen to me, you're going to be fine. If you listen to these other people, these other YouTube channels, people who used to be on YouTube, you're going to go broke. You're going to be confused. You're not going to know what to do. You're not going to be weaponizing the system against those that are trying to weaponize it against you. All they want you to do is be afraid. I don't want you to be afraid of a damn thing. I want you to understand what's going on clearly and then make decisions, rational decisions, not ones based on panic and not ones based on fear. You understand? I've told all of you for a very long time, I got your back and I will help you if you let me do it. If you choose not to, if you choose to ignore all this stuff, you do so, believe me, at your own peril. All right. Anyway, let us move forward. So that was the big kick here today with uh, with cryptos, with Powell saying the U.S. has no intention to ban it. Um, look, gold and silver people, I understand again your frustration. They got bid nicely higher up today. Actually, silver did well. Um, gold is, is slightly higher today, but people for the long run, you tell me where you want to be. You want to be... Uh, in an asset right now that is so on sale and it continues to go on sale every time you got the biggest rigor in the history of the world. This is literally JP Morgan, the super bank, who's rigging the price of metals and everything else too. You want to, you want to name an, a, a, a sector or an aspect of this market, they're rigging it. They're rigging it all. They are so powerful. They can't be stopped, but good. I want them to continue to play this game here because people, you must be in an anti-debt unit, okay? You don't want to be in the crypto space? I got it. It's not for everyone. It's extremely volatile. You got to be prepared for that and you got to have, you got to, I don't know, you got to have a certain type of mentality to be in that space, all right? If you understand it, you understand it. If you don't, you, you may never understand it, but that's okay. You at least got to understand why you should be betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank, holding a hard asset here. Um, we're in a debt hyper bubble, and it's this debt hyper bubble, people, if you think you've seen anything yet, you haven't. This debt hyper bubble is about to get much, much worse, along with inflation and everything else connected to it here. The free fall economy, the contraction of the economy, the, the manifestation and creation of this new two-tier society that I've warned for over a decade was coming, this new feudal system. It's all here. It's about to get monumentally worse. So for the longer run people, understanding the markets, how they work. I don't believe there are, is a group of people anywhere that knows the market better than you do if you've been following this blog. I tell you the intricacies of it, the ins and outs of it, the psychology of it. I study it around the clock. It's, it's an obsession for me. It really is. And I feel responsible to at least, because I have a big audience, okay? It's global. I feel responsible to share with you the cutting edge best information I can pro possibly gather for you. And that's how we're going to win here. This is how we're going to take the twisted system and turn it on everybody else. Okay, they want to play their game, fantastic. We're going to play ours. Nothing is going to stop us from playing ours. That means betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank. Let them play their games with metals, people, because the market runs in cycles. Risk on, risk off. Risk on, risk off. Right now, the debt market is a time bomb. It's a ticking time bomb. Okay, it's going to tick louder and louder and louder for a long time. But it is going to explode. And when it does explode, it's going to change the financial landscape of the world. Okay, massive sell-off in the debt market is going to happen. It's going to happen at one point, which is going to melt down the stock market. Oh, this is all by design. Don't think this is by accident whatsoever. There's going to be an event here, and no one can point their finger at it like Evergrande. This whole freaking thing with Evergrande. Some, some YouTube bloggers talking about it. Evergrande, Evergrande, blah, blah, blah. It's all dog shit. I told you that from the beginning. It was going to be nothing. How did we know that? It's very simple. You see, everyone was talking about a debt market issue, a credit issue. But if you were looking at the credit markets, if you were looking at the debt markets, nothing was going on, nothing at all. But these people are trying to make you afraid of something. 
don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Be afraid of them. Be afraid of anyone that's trying to make you afraid of something. I'm telling you right now. Because you're never going to find me making, trying to make you afraid of something. I just want you to understand it. And I want you to beat it. Is that so hard? Is that so bad that I want everyone to be successful? Man, is this a long video. Let's go on here. Um, so again, I explained to you here, uh, this, this core inflation is spiking at its fastest pace in 30 freaking years. And we haven't seen anything yet with regard to that. Um, you know, this is something else that is going on and it's no surprise to you. So we're finding out here that factories, factories have been struggling for a long time here, okay, despite the nonsense, despite the rhetoric. Now, the cost of good raw materials is skyrocketing. So these factories here are, are getting hit with those extra costs, but those extra costs are being passed on to the consumer, all right? And you knew this from before, because I told you this was gonna happen from a while back, people. You know what, I have more stuff here that I wanted to cover, but it's just, this video is getting awfully long. So anyway, look, uh, rally in the stock market, the MMRI nailed it. For those naysayers out here, uh, <laughs> you know, I got an itch, it's right here. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, did you get that? Uh, yeah, so uh, I, it just, it boggles the mind how people can say, oh, Greg's indicator doesn't work. I just put it out, I don't know, last week. Really? Really? Why are you trying to make people lose? I don't understand that. Be careful. Because there are people that want you to lose. There are people here that are going to try to mislead you. And, 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 write, and I see some of you actually writing back to these people. You write back to these people like they are some kind of authority. You don't even, they're sitting in their mother's basement, hiding under some fictitious name. And you people out here, some of you, some of you, are going to write back to these people like they're some kind of authority? Really? <sighs> go ahead, go join them in their mother's basement or something. I have no idea. But anyway, you don't belong here. This channel is for winners, okay? Winners. You want to win, you stay here. Do you want to lose? Uh, you have a lot of choices as to who you want to listen to out here on YouTube and, and everywhere else. And uh, anyway, I, 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 I don't know. Like I said, sometimes I get a little upset here. But people, look, it is Friday. It is Friday, and it's a lovely Friday. Um, I'm going to do a Marcus a Look Ahead segment on Sunday, but it's going to be later. It's not going to be early. Uh, I got a crazy weekend here. As a matter of fact, you're not going to hear from the Crypto Kid here uh, tomorrow, but we're going to get him back on next week. So you can go over to, to the Crypto Kid's uh, channel here, Keon, and I hope you check his stuff out. Anyway, people, look, what I want you to do is I want you to bring it in. Bring it in. I want you to get closer because we're going to do what we always do. And I want you to really think about this. I really, really do. This is not just something I say. Uh, it's something I want us to live. Seriously, you ready? Love each other. Care about each other. Be charitable. People, thank you to those, again, who have chosen to support my work. And if you still want to support my work, I would greatly appreciate that. There is a link in the description of this video. I will see all of you um, on Sunday. Have a great weekend. I'm going to miss you. Love all of you. Take it easy.